Hi, welcome back. It's, my name's Mark McDonald, and I'm doing a book review on chapter 6 of The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. So this chapter is named The Two Paths, and it's about people taking, uh, having a choice on which path they go to. Another way of looking at it is actually people being positive versus negative. And this path is well trodden. People are negative, people who don't look at things in a positive environment say, and they'd rather criticise something and someone driving for being successful uh, more than they'd actually willing to take the risk themselves. It's a bit like the, pool, you know, the talk poppy syndrome. Now what I want to talk to you about today was not so much about me, but about a friend of mine who uh, went down this unwell, not non-well travel path um, and he was buying some properties in London. Now what he was, this was starting to go through the boom and it was actually really, and everyone thought it was actually at the end of the boom. So that people were saying, what are you doing buying these properties? And what he was doing, he was buying, reno, buying these properties, renovating, getting some tenants in to rent them out. And um, he was making enough money on the gap between the rent and the mortgage payment to, to make a living. Well, that was the idea. One property wouldn't be enough, but he's going to, if he starts replicating this, bond, this business model, he was making a lot of money. But, you know, it was risky times, he was going through, the, the market was, uh, uh, it was near the peak of his market, that's what people perceived, and everyone was telling him, you're at the wrong time of the market, you're heavily exposed, you know, this could all come tumbling down, interest rates could shoot up, you know, there's pressures on rents, there's everything that's negative about it. And what did he do? He ignored it. He took on the advice, but he had a vision. He knew where he was going. He took his path, and he kept striving on. And he go from one property to another property to another property. And where is he? Where is he today? Versus the people he he who were providing him that negative advice. He's got thirty odd properties in London now. Uh, he's. He's basically self-employed, uh, basically semi-retired. He just maintains those properties, and he can live a very, uh, very healthy lifestyle now. Not having to get caught up in the rat race, and he's got time for his family and his kids, and what's really important to him. The people who are, th who are a bit negative towards him, they're still in their nine-to-five jobs. They, their net worth has not moved forward at all, well, very little during that period. And, I, and this is over a five-year period that this happened. What did you do I achieve over the last five years? I know I never achieved anything like that. I didn't. I had an opportunity to go to follow this, this my friend's path, but I never took, took it. I didn't throw rocks and I didn't say anything negative about it because uh, at that stage I didn't have the reference uh, of how he was doing it. But a lot of people who, who did, you know, they now put, you know, lift their hat to him and say, "Hey, well done." Ever think about what paths you could have taken? What's important in your life that you've turned not gone down a path that actually might be a bit risky, might be a bit more challenging than you used to, but would drive a huge amount of benefit in your life? And what have you done with those opportunities? What could you do in the future? How could you go down that path versus a path that, that isn't as positive? So, just food for thought. I uh, found that quite interesting. You did. Um, so, my name again is Mark McDonald, and uh, thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.